First, tonight, a significant update in an ABC 15 investigation, a wild case of mistaken identity. Last week, we told you about a 66-year-old Valley woman detained, cuffed, and arrested by federal marshals. Within hours of our report, the feds now backtracking. ABC 15 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski has been unraveling this case for weeks. She joins us now with the latest. And Jen, this woman was going to have to prove tomorrow she wasn't somebody else. Katie and Faye, this really is a wild story. This woman was set to have an identity hearing on Tuesday in downtown Phoenix, where she was going to have to prove she was Penny McCarthy and not an accused criminal from Oklahoma. But a judge has now dismissed the case, and it's now raising serious questions about the justice system and how they got it so wrong. With this two page motion, an order signed by an Arizona federal judge on Monday. The arrest of a Valley woman once believed to be Carol Ann Rozak goes away for now. We showed up with six marshals looking like something out of Dog the Bounty Hunter coming to my door, threatened to tase me twice in my own driveway. And the story of what happened to 66-year-old Penny McCarthy becomes a fight for accountability. Now they want to just dismiss this. They want to sweep it under the rug. I want to show you this document. That we showed Penny the motion the U.S. Attorney's Office recently filed asking a judge to dismiss her case and vacate her identity hearing. This says we screwed up and we're going to make this go away. And I'm supposed to just lay down and play dead and I'm not going to. Last week, Penny told ABC 15 details about how six U.S. Marshals falsely arrested her at gunpoint outside her Phoenix home last month. They insisted she was Rozak and took her to federal prison in Florence, Arizona on a parole violation. How would you describe everything that's happened in the last month? Heartbreaking and totally disheartening in everything I believed in. I no longer trust the people who govern me. This is a mugshot of a much younger Rozak taken in Texas from more than two decades ago. Our previous investigation found the warrant for her arrest stemmed from a parole violation for nonviolent crimes out of Oklahoma from the 1990s. But again, Penny and her family shared extensive documentation, including years of photos and even her birth certificate showing federal agents had the wrong person. And this was a case of mistaken identity. What do I want? I want my life back. I want my DNA in my possession. I want my mug shots that they took in my possession. Penny has a lot of anger about what happened. Now, as for her fingerprints, the deputy U.S. Marshal in Oklahoma says somehow her digital prints appeared to match at first, but they're still trying to figure out how that happened. Critical questions we will continue to ask. We've also asked the U.S. Marshal Service for an on-camera interview and we will keep pushing for answers. I'm investigator Jennifer Kovaleski, ABC 15, Arizona. Just an unforgettable story. This story, though, started with an email from a viewer. If you want the investigators to look into something, email us at investigators at abc15.com or call the number right there on your screen. By the way,